Robertson from the way he started the match. Eight. Nice little shot to uh, just fan the Reds open and set about trying to make it 2-0. Nine. He's the most successful ever non-British player. 16 world ranking titles to his name. He's been world number one. He's won so-called triple crown, the World UK Masters. I think he's a lot of people's favourite at the World Championship last season. He played beautifully for two rounds and then in the quarterfinals came up against a very dogged John Higgins. Actually, play for pink and black this 15. time, which is done. It's whichever one he fancies. No problem. The thing with taking the pink, it's probably going to be tied up again because it's going to go. It's going to go in the face of one of those reds. So black it is. doesn't go to right corner. 22. Eight. Just a bit of work to do now. Put the frame away. I said before, pink won't go. Right corner. Just off straight though, so you can just push this through top side. Well played. 39. And back in prime position this time. 39, blue 44. Two more reds. This is the red that Martin Gould missed, isn't it, earlier in this frame? All right, this is a wee bit easier. 45. Yeah, he looks in great nick, doesn't he, Robertson? Just really focusing hard, queuing nicely. And he knows that this red should put him 2-0 up. 50. Martin Gould just caught his safety a little bit thick. Hubel didn't run to the cushion. Robertson was able to get his hand on the table, thumped in a long red, and he's done the damage. Fifty-eight. Four snookers needed.
66. Well, he loves a century, Robertson. But it'd have to be something special to make one here. That was pretty special. Perfect. So every chance to now make that century. Just about enough on. Oh, he's missed the black after all yeah, that. Black up the spot. Sorry. But 67 to follow the 62 is annoyed. He wanted the century. But the most important thing is he's already halfway to victory. He's leading Martin Gould here in Coventry by two frames to nil. They haven't updated it though, for, that's after the English. Welcome back to the Rico Arena here in Coventry, day one of Thank the you. Champion of Champions. First frame. Neil Robertson, Neil the Robertson, former winner three. of this event, leading Martin Gould 2 0. It's best of seven, so this third frame already a big one for Gould. Lovely arena, isn't it? And great to see such a big audience in. Of course, we weren't sure who was playing who and when until last week because of the complication of the tournament last week, who would be available, who would even would be in the event. But uh, it's great to see so many people have turned out on the opening afternoon. They're going to see, of course, Rhianne Evans, the women's world champion, up next against Sean Murphy. not going Martin's way looks like he's left this red not easy out there best of seven you know coming out against one of the, the form players a couple of chances hasn't taken them and you know, you know he's going to punish one yeah, the thing with Robertson, you know, he's a confident character anyway before we, we even started, but once he's got a couple of frames on the board and he's got himself nicely into a rhythm, he's very hard to beat.
cool. And he's going to have a little plan here, Neil. That red just above the black. Perhaps not play on it this time. Maybe play on the one along the cushion, but get low on it. Yeah, he is playing for it this time. Let's see if he can manage to get low. Yeah, not quite. He's gone too straight, but does have another in reserve. Eleven. Same thing will apply. Don't think he'll go low in the black off this. Probably a wee bit high. Uh, decided to go low. Uh, he's going to play the deep screw. But that looks red. There's every chance he could push that towards the right corner. Yeah, screwed past it. Beautiful. Nineteen. A little brush cannon, perhaps. One of the two reds, and he's in business. Twenty. Point seven. Yeah, it's just the wrong side straight. I'm going to have to try and punch this. The harder you hit it, the tighter the pocket becomes. Not easy to get out on the black. Yeah, difficult. That was tough. Let's end the break. because he knows he's on top. He's playing by far the better snooker. He just wanted to carry on. Trying to be patient. Well, has he got to the black? Oh, and a miss. He's not made it. Amazing. It was a delicate Mark shot, Road. but too delicate from Robertson there. Seven. Three ball. Well, you can see there. <laughs> Comparatively speaking, he's got nowhere near it. So Martin Gould has put him back in. Yeah, the trouble with a swerve here, you're playing it with obviously right hand side, so there's a pretty good chance he would foul the black. Looking at cushion and probably just slide slide off the top edge of the red. Trying to get the cue ball in bulk. Never easy to judge this this type of shot. It's not a shot you play all that often. Yeah, well done. He really needs this badly. Just for belief, if anything else, with nothing else, sorry. What could be doing with knocking this type of shot in? Type of shot we'd. Just to see him pop. But nowhere near. Part of the ebb and flow of a match at this level is that Neil Robertson there will he'll sense he's got Martin on the run. So for the next probably few minutes, five or ten minutes, something like that, you'll think, right, just don't give him a chance. Let's see if he just plays something rash and makes a poor mistake, because Martin will be steaming inside right now. The, the way he played that last red, the long red attempt.
actually just weighing up there his options, Neil, I think. As I say, because he's got Martin on the rack, he doesn't want to take a risk, that red near the green pocket. I don't want to give Martin any freebies at this juncture of the match. shine away from it. Probably just push the red to the side cushion and tell Martin you're going to have to make the first move. Not the best shot he's ever played. He's left this red. Aye, that was poor. This is a freebie for Martin then. self-inflicted wound there wasn't it Neil Robertson wasn't under any pressure and has he just given Martin a lifeline a way back into this match He's very tight, this red. He wasn't happy with that last shot. Seven. Well, he knows he's got to try and put something together, but uh, there may be a slight issue with a lack of sharpness for Gould. Just three victories all season. He's only won three matches. Hasn't played since the English Open a couple of weeks ago where he lost in the first round. And also, of course, he's got the knowledge that if he breaks down Neil Robertson, he's coming back to the table Fortune. already playing well himself. So pressure on him here in this visit. Thirteen. Small things like that when you're not in form, he's just about uh, five or six inches short of pace. There, he's got to play a little cannon, a chance that it could go wrong. He should get on the pink, yeah. You see, when you're out, out of stroke, you're out of neck, and, and everything just seems difficult, doesn't it? You take your eye off the pot, and you give your opponent. A decent chance here, yeah, suffering. It's a big let off really. We just saw Gould really disappointed in his seat. Fearing the worst, but Robertson has not taken advantage. One. So another good chance. Robertson will be annoyed for sure time they played in this event it was six years ago it went with to a decider Robertson won 4-3 but it's a bit of a battle seven
14. 15. Yeah, once again, just lost the cue ball ever so slightly. Both reds missable. A good thing, nothing to do with the cue ball here. Key shot this. No. Oh, how did that go in? <laughs> no wonder he's having a good look. I can't believe that's gone in. I know one thing, it won't go in on Thursday. a bit mystified but at the same time just take it you've been looking for something today 30. Thirty one. Even with the red after the black Yeah, frame ball then, and uh, there's pressure on this. It's been a bit of a struggle. Just don't get too ambitious. Stun it in. Yeah, he's playing it the correct way as well. Now, a little bit of shoulder movement, wasn't there, on delivery? Yeah. He hasn't gone into Thirty sort of normal eight. flow today as he, even the break he was making, you know, he was sort of rubbing the table, patting things down, didn't look comfortable. In the end he has missed frame ball, he's shaking his head. 39 in it, 43 on. One. And that's what the top players will do chance which that was at best and we've got a new favorite for the frame anything higher value than green would do so brown's fine not not all that important that he plays Eight. for blue here want to play for the for the brown but he's got one more good shot to play just land low on it He's looking at that scoreboard, just making sure he's worked it out properly. You see him doing the maths in his head. <laughs> yeah, plots the red is 30 behind, so as Alan says, brown or above will do. Nine. Randall has left himself on this yellow. So Gould preparing himself for potentially coming back to the table. Still thinking though about that frame ball ready missed. Yeah, I think the way to go here is, is round the back of the black. Because going that way, then you can't cannon blue or brown on the way back up. That's the way I'd be going. 
Let's see then. Yeah, that's the shot to play. See, you play it that way, you can't cannon blue or brown. He's actually a bit unfortunate. Oh, he's left it. He's going to need another one. <laughs> well, we know his journeys this season have been unconventional in every sense. difficult you spin round the back of the pink off two cushions then the left middle's in play oh, that'll do All right he's not nice on it but he's got it to right middle 18 Too. Well, if he does pop these three, then this is going to hurt Gould much more than the first two because Gould had two great chances in this frame, including a go at frame ball red to that green pocket. Twenty-seven. No, tricky this pink. Bit blind. Good thing about playing it the week. The way he's going to be playing it with, with kind of screw off two cushions, it kind of helps the pot. Yeah, well played. Just lost the cue ball. He's just on it. He's okay. Not been the most straightforward clearance this, has it? But he needs the black to win a huge frame to lead 3 0. Terrific. Had such a good dish in the end from Neil Robertson. Martin Gould, though, would be so frustrated. That was his best chance to win a frame. And Robertson is now just one away from a place in the quarterfinals this evening. He's leading Martin Gould here at the Rico in Coventry by three frames to nil. So Neil Robertson is one frame away from a meeting with either Sean Murphy or Ian Evans four. this evening. He leads Martin, Martin Gould 3-0 and Gould will look back not fondly on frame three. He had two really good chances to win it. In the end, Robertson made a dashing and adventurous clearance to steal it from him.
three nil behind, Martin's gonna in a position now where he's almost forced into being the aggressor, and the, the trouble with that is you don't have any confidence as a result of what's gone before. And as is normal when you're lacking confidence, the game seems to present you with a a test of queuing. <laughs> Look at this one. When you miss it, you send a red over the corner. Never rains but it pours this game of ours. And the shot he's left. He didn't want anyone else in the game playing it. All on a steep deep screw back for blue. This is going to be a delicate one. He's just about you know, three or four inches shy Six. of pace. This is going to be delicate. A little soft cannon off the other red. I think he could actually play this plain ball and just push the black towards the pocket. Might be a better option. Yeah, Seven. well played. Good shot. So one more delicate little cut back black and he's in business again here. And that red directly above the black, he wants to get it as full as he can. And get that full in the face, and just a little soft screw shot. Yeah, that'll do nicely. <laughs> yeah, he's developed into it. Such a great break build, hasn't he? A few years ago, our own Stephen Hendry made 14. a few quite blunt remarks about his break building style, and rather than sort of taking offence at it, Neil Robertson listened to what he said and worked on his game. And of course, had the 103 centuries six years ago now in a single 13. campaign. No one's uh, done it before. No one's done it since. What we also saw in the last frame was if you know if he's slightly out of position, he can pot his way out of trouble. He'd love to kill it off here because, Point of course, two. if he does win, he's got another match to play this evening. Point three. Well, if he does lose, he'll think about frame three. For sure, that was his big chance to get on the scoreboard, get involved in the match. Third. Yeah, not many reds in the open here, but shouldn't be a problem. Nice angle Third. in the black. Key shot then. Well, if you play into the directly above the black, cue ball could maybe spit back towards him, playing that. Yeah, he punched through them. Uh, he's on one, but it's not easy. A little cut back. Third eight. Should spring the, well, guaranteed to spring the pink into play. Playing this to just slip onto the black off the, the red little cannon thirty nine.
guess this is about one more good pot really all the reds are there waiting Oh, it had a go at going in, didn't it? But it stayed out. Yeah, Robert, so not over yet. 39. Almost felt like match ball, this pink. Had a little wobble. Didn't drop. One. Seven. Fourteen. It just doesn't look all that positive, does he, Martin? Hang dog look every time he just runs out of position at that. He's still fine here. But uh, body language counts for quite 15. a lot in this game. He just doesn't look all that confident. The only one good thing about this situation is that mentally, probably two or three minutes ago, he'd have think the match is almost gone. So he's in the last chance saloon. Perhaps might just Point. let the arm go a bit more. And just play, just Point play, one. play, and just you know see where it takes them. Oh dear! Oh dear, dear, dear! That's gone wrong again. Twenty-eight. They're still covering each other, and Gould is pig sick at that. I said earlier he's inscrutable. Well, not quite so much there. You could see exactly what he was feeling. Well, that's a massive shot if he's going to play this plant. And then miles apart, these reds. Played it, I guess, with a degree of safety in mind in terms of he knew he'd have the pink. But he didn't get close to the pot. And uh, you can see, after having a great chance there and where the balls were, that was a great scoring chance. He will be so disappointed. It's just not happening for him today. Great chance in behind yellow and brown. This is a good chance to put pressure on Martin. Yeah, not ideal. But once again, the way Martin's feeling, is he going to be tempted with a long red? I, I wouldn't think so. That's too risky. Trouble is, though, you mentioned again, Neil, Neil Robertson's long game. Martin plays this safety, the red by the black, and he's bound to leave Neil a half chance. And here is the half chance. Yeah, 
again he's confused this didn't go in. Wow, he says. But maybe he's thinking of that red gull potted into that pocket earlier on, which shouldn't really have gone, but did. One. So another chance for the pinner potter. Let's see if he can take this one. Get himself on that school ball. Just get a frame under his belt and then try and build from there. even there he's <laughs> he's about 18 inches two feet short of pace just six every time he's had a chance and he's had a few of them this afternoon he just isn't able to get any confidence going seven yeah, i think the shot here is playing behind the two reds Absolute optimum angle to do that. You're unlucky not to be on one of them. You played it nicely. <laughs> Problem is, you can just see in his body language, he's sort of looking Fortune. for things to go wrong, isn't he? And y if you look long enough, you'd be sure to find something. A lot of head shaking going on. sure whether that would drop or not it has done though, done though. But this is a bit of a high wire act at the moment twenty one Oh, he's fluke one. It was horrible queuing over the yellow and brown. Point two. I'll take anything right now, though. Once again, didn't get too close, but then it knocks the other red in the middle. That's quite an unusual fluke, really. Feels duty bound after that. <laughs> They're almost to go for this blue. Keep it going. 11 in front then. Yeah, well played. Good shot. Perhaps on the red to right middle. You just almost, you just Point don't seven. fancy him. You just, the way the match has gone, you just feel like something's going to go wrong somewhere along the line. And a bit of clicks in between. Red to right middle is difficult because he's going to be leaving the cue ball in the middle of the table. We expect to probably leave it on should he miss it. That's why he's not doesn't really fancy it. Yeah, playing it in the corner. Or is he? No, he's playing it in the middle. But as I say, this is risky. Bound to leave this. Mm. Point to good. Point to seven. Fortunate again. Touch the pace nicely there. So 16 points in this frame. Gould in front, but of course Robertson looking for one more chance to win the match.
his only hope where there was going in behind the black but as you can see he hasn't done that we'll see whether that's his last shot or not one yeah that little ball can in the green will do nicely key shot then just the wrong side of straight again. I'm going to have to force the cue ball out, but this is the shot then. Five. Shouldn't be a problem getting out on it, but just going a wee bit awkward. Seven. Really good. What a chance now then to wrap this up. It's true that Martin Gould has struggled. That's been self-evident. But overall, Robertson, I think, will be very happy with how he's played. Nineteen. Just the pink needed for a whitewash. Bit of a day to forget for that man. And in it goes. So Neil Robertson, Robertson is the first man into the quarterfinals of the Champion of Champions. The winner here four years ago was utterly dominant. Martin Gould struggled badly with his game. Neil Robertson will play either Sean Murphy or Rayan Evans later tonight. He's the winner by four frames to nil.